nothing like I've ever experienced super early this morning to come and enjoy the sunrise on this beach and I have to say it was absolutely stunning. stunning you know Black Point Beach is a black sand beach on the windward side of St. Vincent with these huge crashing waves now you can't swim here however it is good for yoga meditation walk on the beach or just sitting down and enjoying the views exactly also there's a recreational park right next to it yep they have picnic tables restrooms an enormous field, you can play some soccer, just yeah. run around, and you can visit Black Point Tunnel. So today's plan is to show you all the different color beaches of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It ranges from black sand all the way to white sand. I'm excited because today is the beach, beach day. day! See you in the next location! <laughs> and now we're on a brown sand beach. Welcome to Breakers. <laughs> This beach is not easily accessible, but it is worth the trouble it takes to get here. Yes, we had to hike down a steep hill, lots of branches and trees and stuff all over the floor. And yeah. It was such an awesome hike to get down here because <laughs> it is definitely worth it. It totally is. We have it all to ourselves. Breakers is located on the southern coast of St. Vincent. It's actually not completely all brown, but you can see brown mixed with black. I guess. I guess and <laughs> there are sparkles on the beach, you just can't see it with the camera. But what I like is that there's picnic tables here, there's shade trees here, and you're actually getting two beaches in one because on the other side of this hill, there's actually a nice cove where it's a little more tranquil. I'm looking forward to that one. Let's show you around. All right. Welcome to what we love to call Breakers Baby Salt Pond. You know, it's not an ideal beach for swimming because it's just lined with reefs and rocks. However, those play a role in breaking down the big waves coming in that feeds the salt pond. We love sitting in the shade, watching the waves crash over the reefs and into the pond. Yeah, it actually makes for a great jacuzzi. It sure does, as we sit there and just join the view of that way. Exactly. <laughs> Look at the sand behind us. It's like a golden brown color. It's awesome. Compared to the sand on Breakers, where it's like a light brown, almost tannish color, this makes for even a prettier beach. Okay, so now we're back on Breakers, and unfortunately we can't go swimming because Breakers is the beach with attitude. Sometimes she's calm. Sometimes she's moody. Sometimes she's angry. Today, she is straight up pissed, pissed off. off. <laughs> However, there's a man out here that's always just very relaxed. He's reclining, checking out the views. Enjoying the breeze. <laughs> Enjoying the breeze. And we call him the reclining rock man. <laughs> So today we've enjoyed a black sand beach. A brown sand beach. 
And now we're on a white sand beach. Welcome to Bukumin. It's located on the leeward side of the island, 20 minutes away from Kingstown. And guess what? The waters are so calm and nothing like the windward side. <laughs> no, the windward side gets all the wind. The leeward side is sheltered. So therefore the beach is a lot calmer and more enjoyable. You know, I gotta be fair with you guys. This is not actually a natural white sand beach. This sand was imported to accommodate guests at this hotel that's now abandoned, soon to be a sandals. So, because wow. actually the entire island has black sand or brown sand beach. This is the only white sand beach on St. Vincent. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, we're gonna enjoy it, spend about an hour here, and uh, I hope it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> When you're next to me, I lose trust Come on, come on, close to me This is paradise, we're never ever gonna leave Alright, we had a great day beach hopping. I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get to swim on a black sand beach. Well, how about this? Mount Wind, <laughs> black sand beach? Yeah, exactly. Unlike Black Point Beach on the windward side where it was rough and you couldn't really swim, this beach is on the leeward side of St. Vincent and it's pretty calm, tranquilo, it's good vibes here and you can swim. Yes, you can. It's such a lovely beach. It's a pretty long beach, I have to say. Yeah, it is. Not as long as Black Point, but what they do have in common is that both beaches do have recreational areas. So there are picnic tables here, restrooms, a soccer field, lots of shade. Parking. Exactly. You can come and picnic, hang out, take in the views, and guess what? Sun. <laughs> I'm so excited that we are going to be watching the sun go down. Exactly, you know, because Mount Wind Beach is on the leeward side of the island where the sun sets. It's a perfect place to come, have a sunset swim. Good morning everyone! Today is another beautiful day in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We woke up early to take the 8 a.m. ferry to Beckway to enjoy Lower Bay. <laughs> Why? Because we absolutely love Lower Bay. It is one of the many white sand beaches here in the Grenadines and you can come for a day, a week or for as long as you like. Exactly. There is one other beach however that we do prefer and that is Salt Whistle Bay. Bay on the small Grenadine island of Myro. It was awesome. Yeah, check out that video. The beach is gorgeous. Pristine, I must say. Yeah, it's the <laughs> only one that gives Lower Bay competition in our eyes. I agree, I agree. So as you can see, St. Vincent and the Grenadines have so many beautiful beaches to enjoy from black sand all the way to white sand. 
it just never gets old. Just pick and enjoy. Exactly. All that being said, it is time for us to go for a swim, enjoy some snorkeling, come back, sit here and relax, but... Let's get wet. You are no Pamela boy, I tell you. Hey guys, if you want to see what we're up to when we're not in St. Vincent, you have to have to check out our Peru series. There we hiked a rainbow mountain, and I literally mean a rainbow mountain. We also slept in the desert at an oasis, and we climbed and slept on the edge of a cliff, like literally hanging on the edge of a cliff. All right, all right. If you're still feeling that Caribbean vibe, check out our ABC Island series, where we spend the entire day with flamingos in Aruba, walked across a floating bridge in Curacao, and so much more. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff for us. And we'll see you on the next video. See you Bye. later, guys.